Hi traders, I hope you're having a fantastic weekend and I want to share with you what I'm seeing in these indices because they are experiencing very, very thin volume and I think at the very least we will need a pullback. Now it's non-farm payroll on Friday so what I think will probably happen is I think they'll drift the markets into Thursday um, hover potentially around the 18,000 mark, maybe down as low as 17,800. If, if they like the non-farm payroll numbers, then I think we'll, we're going to work our way back to 18, 18 and a half, and so on. But I think very sh the first half of the week, at least, I think this weakness in the data, or, excuse me, weakness in the indices and the volume, will see a pullback to that area there. In the premium video we looked at three core markets that really look very interesting and we're plotting levels in those. What I want to sh for the free video I'll just share with you what I'm seeing in the Euro US. Um, I'm just expecting a lot more dollar strength. Uh, I think we are getting we're very close to a rate rise in the US. Now whether that's the spring or the summer I actually think it's going to be closer than people think. The US rates are practically close to zero and I, I think we're seeing wage price inflation, we are seeing general inflation levels creeping up and I think uh, the US is, will end up raising rates quicker than people think. For this Euro US I would look for a retest of into this box after this massive move on Thursday, and then I think we can we may start to work our way through 110 into parity. Uh, we've got a hammer down here, which we haven't quite retested yet. But if you're going to short, you've got to short higher. I mean, ideally, uh, a retest of the higher the box. But I don't think we're going to get there. If we do, I'll certainly be all, all over that. But notice here on a on this consolidation pattern that yeah, after this huge drop here, it was the test of the 50 that triggered that level. We tested the 50 again, looked as if looked a little, little bullish up there, but then experienced another free fall. And here it was so weak we can't even get through to the 50 here. So that's why if you're going to short, you've got to try and get as high as you possibly can. I think now we've come out of the box um, and we're experiencing so much dollar strength. I'll just wait for this to inch its way up and then see if you can get a level into that box. But for me, I've marked 113. If you look at the weekly chart, I think you can see where I've got that 113 from. Yeah, 113 is clearer on the weekly chart. Hope that helps. And if you want to, the open week in the trading room is now closed. Thanks very much for everyone who joined me. I hope you enjoyed that. And for the new members now are being redirected to the premium video. And if you want to join those and get the full scope of the market, then let me know. I've already uh, set, laid out some events and I will just finally post those up. Uh, on the website and, and draw your attention to those in the next video. All right, have a fantastic weekend. Enjoy yourselves and happy trading. Bye for now.